everybody welcome back to my channel today i have another wizarding trunk unboxing it's been a month uh without a box and so i'm glad to have we're gonna have two boxes this month uh because we're getting our bi-monthly and our special edition box um this is the bi-monthly for february and this one is i believe the professor's box um i actually forgot the theme but like looking at the box i'm sure this is a professor we've got um lemon what are they called dumbledore's candy i can't think of them the, uh the lemon ones <laughs> and then we've got like a tarot card which i'm thinking trelawney what else is on here um got like wolfsbane so snape i got a, my snape earrings today my favorite professor <laughs> um what else is on here oh got a black cat in the front although mcgonagall is not a black cat but mcgonagall right uh, nothing at the bottom, but some scratch marks. I really like the color of this box. Like, we've had their uh, trunk boxes, right? But this is like a dark, like, brown-red color, and I really like it. So, here we go. Let's get into it. I'm excited. Um, professors. Let's see what uh, professors we get. Oh my goodness. Hold <laughs> on. Look at the details on the side. And also, when you open up the box, we've got uh, a feather for, I guess, um, Flitwick, a Mandrake for Professor Sprout, so hoping to see that. This is the first look. And it looks like we have a t-shirt. Um, oh, that's the back of the shirt. This is the print. I don't know what it is yet. Groundskeeper's Assistant. Oh, we're going to have a Groundskeeper's box. I think that's the next one, isn't it? So, shouldn't that be in there? I don't know. Um, so that one says Groundkeeper's Assistant. That's super cute. This is obviously for Hagrid. Um, and that's super cute. Love the fill of these shirts. They're comfy, nice stretchy shirts. So that's our first item. Next item is right on top. I see a button. Let me show you. This is what it looked like. Just like that. <laughs> I see a button, a pin. We've got a dueling champion uh, pin here. So having our duels, apparently this is like my medal, I guess. Very cute. Next, I'm gonna go in with this green box in the middle because why not? Ugh, I see an eye in there. It looks like Professor Moody's eye. Ooh, is this? Slughorn. That is pretty. This feels like, this is metal, glass, this is gorgeous. We've got Professor Slughorn's um, hourglass. And look, so we've got like a clock on the top and the bottom. These pretty like snake details. Look at that. That is so pretty. This is a really pretty item. And it definitely fits in with my like Slytherin stuff. <laughs> Next, the thing I saw that I mm, could only be one person, a Mad Eye Moody. This is Dr. Grindle's Enchanted Prosthetics. Oh my god, this is gonna be his eye. We've got an eye. And there's also like a sticky tape on the back where you can pull it off and stick it on something. Don't know what I'm going to do with this. Maybe if I had like a big trunk, I would stick it on the trunk. I don't know. I don't know. Put it on our front door. <laughs> I like the people. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. But this is the eye. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Leave me some ideas of what you would do with the big eye. <laughs> Alright, let's go for some small things on the side here. We've got another pen. I think this is supposed to be Professor McGonagall. I believe so. I love the frame pens, the, pic the portrait pens. They're so pretty. That doesn't sound very enthusiastic, but they are very pretty. I want my own like mini gallery wall. 
So this, I believe, is McGonagall. Very pretty frame. Next, let's go for this box on the side because it looks very reminiscent of the box we had in my last unboxing. Because um, I think they might be putting the keys in this. I might be completely wrong and misguided, but I think. Because um, this one says unlocking magic, the same thing that the other box said, except this has a lot more foily stuff on it. Very pretty box. I'm definitely keeping this box. So opening her up, this is the key we got. This looks like the groundskeeper's key. I, oh, no it's not. I saw a lantern and thought groundskeepers. This is actually, I think, cooler. The restricted section key. So that's what the lantern's for. Um, and it looks like the little prongs here, little books. Oh, and even like, okay, let me bring it close. So it looks like little books on the little key there, the lock, we've got restricted section, little face. The bookshelf I really like. I like how there's like open space, right, inside. And also the shape of the key is like the Hogwarts crest. Um, so I think that is super cool. And then you've got a little lantern here, a little candle inside. That's actually really cute. I like this key. Alright, let's go in to woo, this long box. Could this be Iron Potion? Um, oh, what is this? Oh, what is this? <gasps> Turn up the screen! I, can you see what it is? Can you see what it is? Because I can see what it is. Memory vial, memory vial, memory vial, memory vial. Okay, so I want to collect a bunch of memory vials and put them on a shelf, just like, like if you were at Hogwarts and you know the shelf of memory vials everywhere. I want a shelf of memory vials of all sorts. I did find an Etsy on uh, Etsy on seller, a seller on Etsy who was making like hand blown memory vials that were empty and you could put your own stuff in it, which I like to do because um, I have I collected water for my trips like from the oceans and stuff, and I wanted to put those in the memory vial so it's like my memory of my travels and stuff. Um, but then they sold out, and he hasn't like restocked. I don't know if he's making more. I don't know. I don't know so I can't find any more memory vials and I'm a little sad about it so my idea is just like sitting on the back burner because I don't have memory vials that are empty except for like one um but I also will take full memory vials I don't care I'm just so excited oh my god I've been waiting to get another memory vial this is awesome okay so this one has a very light blue liquid in it if you can see very light blue and I don't know if that's glitter. At first glance, I thought there was like, oh no, no, yeah. There's like silver sparkles in it. Very barely, you see? Just swirling it around. So which makes it, I think, look a lot more magical. Just like, Uma. So yeah, I just think it makes it even more like magical. Like there's, I don't know, a memory inside. Um, the, and obviously the very pretty label on here that says Oakden, September 1925. And apparently he is, um, he used to work in the Ministry of Magic. He was a wizard. Um, and that's kind of all I know. <laughs> I can already tell you what my favorite item is. This one. Beautiful, beautiful wizarding trunk. Make more of these in all shapes and sizes. Pretty please. And you don't even have to fill them because, I mean, I want them empty also. Please. <laughs> the next thing, so I'm assuming that's like our potion, whatever. Next thing is this brown box. Let's open her up. We've got some more bubble wrap. Oh, and I might have been wrong. I don't think that was our potion. Ooh. So this is our potion. Oh, this looks cool. Oh, this looks cool. Um, it is a puffer fish eyes. It looks very gross and creepy, which is what I like. <laughs> um, but yes, there's the label. Love the label design. It says humanely harvested. Um, and yeah, it looks like 
boba inside um, with like green liquid and they have like some silver sparkles. Let me give it a good shake because it looks like some of this glitter is like stuck on the like little bobas. I'm calling them bobas which is probably gross to say. Um, little bobas that are in here. I don't know kind of makes it make I guess makes it look a little bit more like they have like eye goop. I don't know. But there's that. Let me see. If, there. Oh if you have that like trip phobia. I know these aren't really holes but could look like that. Maybe <laughs> don't look at it. I'm sorry. I love when things look gross. I'm sorry if you can hear my dogs. Um, and then the top here just says, I think, Pure Blood Apothecary. This looks like a new stamp by them. I love the dipped. Instead of just like a wax and dripped, I love like the dipped. And it's like perfectly. So love this um, potion ingredient um, for the swelling solution. Um, but yeah, love, love, love this. Love the creepy. You put it up to the light and the boba's kind of like turn translucent, which is kind of gross. I like it. <laughs> then we've got this big box. I thought it was taped. Oh, well, it was taped, but then like cut it. Someone cut it. Big box. Oop. We got some styrofoam. I don't know what that potion would be for. I guess post. I don't know. I think to me everything is taped now. It's like potion class because it was potions class, right? Oh my god. Uh, I don't know. I'm at a loss for like the professors. I keep repeating the same professors unless it's like really um, apparent. <laughs> because like this one, I'm gonna say like Hagrid because it's a centaur and we meet a centaur in the woods and you know I just associate Hagrid with um, the Enchanted Forest. The dark forest i don't remember it says mars is bright tonight i don't know so i'm just i don't know i'm associating this with hagrid. hagrid this is a really pretty um statue we've got here of this centaur look at that mm, my goodness i love these like gold statues um i'm gonna have so many little random statues and i love it all right next thing in here which is our last box oh this is kind of heavy it looks like a pizza box <laughs> let's open it up this is a plate is this another like it is <laughs> um this is another plate for um, Dolores. Dolores Unbridge. We've got a kitty plate. It's got like a ruffly end. I still have my other plate and I was gonna sell it. I don't know if I put it up on my shop yet. Um, because like I love cats but I don't like pink really. But I don't know. If you keep getting so many, I might just make like a little thing where you can like hang your plates like down and just have them. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think I should just because we're, we're getting more cat plates. Maybe I need to start a little cat plate collection. <laughs> yeah, here's the plate. Here's the cat. Here's the flowers. I really do like this one. I like how this one is a different shape, though. It's not just a, like a tea plate. Um, it's got, well, it is a tea plate, but like, it's not, it has, you know, things. I like the creepy looking dark stuff. This is like complete opposite of that. <laughs> so that was the last, uh, like whatever <laughs> not the last item but the last like physical item these things are all physical i don't know what i'm trying to say moving on to paper products so this is obviously gonna probably be a bookmark um oh or maybe oh there's two things in here bookmark or not because i was like wait that's kind of tall for a book <laughs> especially the books that they're doing right now um so let's see what this is a map or something so this is the book cover and it is, what is it? The History of Magic. Is this History of Magic? What professor is that? I think it's one of the ghosts, right? One of the ghosts does it. Mm, I gotta remember the ghost. Um, but yes, History of Magic. This is very pretty. Like that like faded like ivory color. Um, and like the dark purple and gold foiling. On camera it looks more like a maroon. Um, but it's, I don't know, maybe it is a maroon. From that one angle, it looked purple. Okay, maybe the camera's right. And then we've got like this blue, like watery look on the side. 
pretty. We've got that alch alchemy symbol that Danny likes. Um, love, love that. But I'm not, I'm not going to keep the book covers because I don't have the book for them. And I'm not going to go buy the books for them because they're just the house books. Um, and if I was going to buy the house books, I'd want them to stay. I'm not going to buy them. I think the only, I'm not going to repeat buy my Harry Potter books. The only one I think I'm going to repeat buy are the Mina Lima books because Mina Lima. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this will be in my shop because I'm not going to keep the bookmarks. So if you're trying to collect. I mean the bookmarks, the book covers. If you want to collect the book covers, you have the books, don't want to buy the books, go check out my shop. Um, then the other thing in here looks like a constellation map. So this is definitely going to be for like uh, Trelawney. This is really pretty. This is going to be, and the gold foiling on here, this is going to look really, this is going to look pretty in like a gold frame, I think. Oh, that's what I'm going to do. Oh my gosh, I can get this open. So this is what this looks like. We've got all the like, like we've got like cherub cloud babies in the sky. Oh, what does that one do? <laughs> that one doesn't look quite like a baby. That one looks like a titan. Um, but yeah, are they throwing up? <laughs> so we've got those. Um, and then we've got like a bunch of constellations. I really like how like the con like the stars with the lines are in like gold foiling and then you have like what they're representing behind it so you kind of like see both I don't know how to explain that I really like that we've got the moon phases at the bottom here um, and the gold foiling there's stuff around the gold foiling oh there looks like uh, horoscopes around the gold foiling around here you've got um, the horoscope symbols of there is Gemini, Gemini, which is where I am. <laughs> Does it match your constellation? Because mine is like the two dancing dudes, right? Oh, which is not quite on Gemini. I don't know. We've got like a little postcard. Be this is great for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day was yesterday, so if I would, well, actually, I did get it a few days ago, so this would have been here in time for Valentine's Day. I'm just not filming it till after Valentine's Day. Um, it says "Be Mine," uh, and it's like we've got like Amortentia potion on the front, and on the back it says, "For a small fee, a school cupid will sing to your Valentine when delivering." Um, so that's super cute. So it's like a little, what are they called? Well, that they used to do in school when you can like send a flower to uh, an admirer or something. I don't know. Um, me and my best friend always bought each other flowers because, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, that's cute. Then we've got two, um, these are the last things in here, which are two creature pages for our magical creatures book um and i think we got two because in our last box they were damaged and so they didn't send them out and so now they sent it out with this box so i think i think the manticore and the mer person was for the last box and then this one is for this box um and this is a unicorn and yunk mm, yunk Yunkitai, Yunkitai, Yunkitai. I don't know what this creature is. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. I will look it up all after I do this. Um, so yeah, like always, I will read this after. Here's the manticore and the photo for the manticore. I love the art on these and then the mer person. Yeah, I just love the art style on these. Like textbook mythology, I don't know. Um, and so then this snake thing that I don't know how to, what is it called? Unktai? Unk Unktai? I don't know. I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. Oh, the horned serpent. I've heard the horned serpent before. Um, and then the unicorn. We've got a lovely little unicorn there. 
So that is everything in the box, you guys. And before I get into the cheat sheet, this is our cheat sheet here. We're gonna do favorites and least favorites. So my favorite things, I think you already know, are the Memory Vial number one, of course, number one favorite thing, and then this. Love this, this is the stuff I like. This is the stuff I like. Least favorite, number one is probably gonna be the little card. It's very pink, girly. Um, don't really know what I'm gonna do with it. I might just give it to someone. So maybe that's not number one, because then it's something I can like gift. Um, then it would probably be the Dolores Umbridge um, plate, Mad Eye Moody Eye, because I just don't know what I'm gonna do with this unless I like, spark an idea. Someone give me an idea. I could just make his head, like his headpiece, eyepiece, out of the eye, but I'd probably repaint the eye. This probably might end up on a Fix It Friday, um, repainting it, because. Mm, well, basic painting, if I'm being honest. Um, and then this, because, you know, like I said, it's not my style. So let's get into our cheat sheet. Um, so, oh, this one, professors. Um, and this one, it has stuff on both sides. Dang, did we, we got a lot of stuff this time, huh? So, number one, the History of Magic book cover. This book by... Elephus Levi was written in 1913 and will fit the third hardback UK edition book. Like I said, I don't have the UK books. I don't have the house books because I said they would fit both, right? Mm, number two, the centaur statue. This statue depicts one of the creatures that have mastered the art of divination. Oh, yeah, because wasn't it, um, the centaur became like, I guess like a sub at one point? Am I wrong? I don't know. Number three, kitten plate. Imagine sitting down to complete your lesson plan and enjoying a cup of tea while this sickingly cute cat decides to settle in for a nap. <laughs> Number four, creature page. This creature page is torn right out of the book Magical Creatures A to Z, written by the Wizarding Trunk and designed by Wizardry Workshop. So we got two this time. Number five, Hourglass. This hourglass appears to have the ability to alter time. It has been known, it has been known, speed it up, slow it down, or reverse it in some cases. It, okay, that one didn't really make sense to me, but it makes sense, but like, it wasn't, I don't know. I don't think that was worded right. Um, number six, puffer fish eyes. Eyes of the puffer fish are an essential ingredient in potion making when brewing up a solution for a swelling. <laughs> number seven, portrait pen. The brave and courageous professor is the next in the next in line of our portrait pens. Um, didn't tell me who it was. Well, brave and courageous. That's Gryffindor, and so I'm assuming it's It looks like McGonagall. Um, number eight, magical eye. While we hope that you may never have a need for a magical eye, this could also come in handy stuck in a stuck to a door if you're looking to do a bit of spying like one of its last owners. Number nine, restricted section key. This key is used to enter the restricted section in the library. Number 10, star chart. The star chart will come in handy atop the tallest tower while napping, while napping, while mapping the sky and astrology. <laughs> napping, nap under the sky, that's nice. Number 11, Valentine postcard. Fill out this postcard and give it back to your professor if you would like one of his Valentine cupids to deliver and sing it to your Valentine. Number 12, groundskeeper assistant shirt. Oh look, you were selected by the groundskeeper to be his assistant. We hope you don't have any reservations about deep black lakes or forests that most are forbidden to enter. Um, number 13, vial of memories. Uh, <laughs> Because you can't say memory vial, so vial of memories. These hand-blown vials were created exclusively for us and contain a rather peculiar look into the past. 
September of 1925 to be exact. And then lastly, we have number 14, dueling champion pin. Did you know that one of your professors was a dueling champion? If you're looking for some tips and tricks for dueling, we suggest he be the one you asked for help. Professor Flitwick was a dueling champion. Um, I like how we've got some, like, well, all of our stuff was on the front. We had the row in the back, and then all of this is like ads. I think that's cute. But that is it for this box. Let me know what your favorites are and what your least favorites are. I'm interested to know. And with that, I'll see you next time. Bye. Also, don't forget to subscribe. My subscriber and viewer count is like, whoop. So, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.